Look, the coronavirus response aside, it's high time for Scott Morrison to step up. Too many inquiries, too much defensiveness, too much responding from the back foot. It's time for the Prime Minister to set the agenda in this country and get cracking. Remember, the coalition was re-elected mainly because Morrison was smart enough to point out how disastrous Labor's high-taxing policy mix actually was. It was Labor's policies that got the coalition elected rather than their own in the main. The government's policies are a bit thin. That's why they need to do more, not to protect the budget surplus, but to boost economic growth and control the political debate. Morrison's given too much ground to the activists who want to blame another bad summer of bushfires on climate change, holding a royal commission instead of just telling the states to get on and lift their game when it comes to bushfire preparedness. And today he's on the back foot again over the sports rorts affair. Look, this grants program was a boondoggle. There wouldn't be a voter in the country that doesn't see that. But that's just politics as usual. That's what ministers do. They spend taxpayers' money with politics always in the mix. The PM's already thrown a minister overboard to appease the critics, but that doesn't make them go away. That's not how it works. They're pouring through the details now, examining the process, looking for more scandal, and it's all a bit messy with a crucial email, a crucial email on this scheme sent 17 minutes after the election was called. But what voters and taxpayers judge governments on is not processes inside the bubble, rather it's on what governments do and what their priorities are. The point here is that Morrison needs to shape the debate, not let his opponents do that for him. He needs to do more with his electoral mandate. The economic challenge was tough enough without the coronavirus. He should use this crisis as the trigger for a bigger economic action plan, a bigger reform agenda. Can he bring tax cuts forward? Can he do more on business taxes to encourage investment? Can he scrap some big areas of federal and state overlap to save taxpayers billions of dollars? Can he really get stuck in on the climate and energy debate instead of trying to be all things to all people? Give us some projects for reliable and affordable power and let Labor oppose them. That's an argument worth having. Better than, pe better than petty politicking over sports rorts and the like. Strong leaders don't run from the big arguments. They choose the measures and debates the country needs most and they fight hard. It's time for ScoMo to get cracking.